Well, now I've taken some time to uh, calm down. That was supposed to be a very simple announcement that ended up going way, way too far. They've got the stipulation. The loser Making will way to leave the, the LWF. Weighing in at 4,000 tinder swipes. On the 23rd from his personal love pad. Somebody is this leave. is the scenario. Nathan Gunn! Meanwhile, here's another man that's going to hopefully get his come up and have suspended this guy as well for his behaviour. He's got that steel chair with him. We saw what he did on Mutiny when he attacked Limber with that chair. He attacked him at Slamaganza for no reason. He has continued to be a pain, and therefore tonight, I hope Moonbird completely crushes him. Moonbird asked for this. He's got it. and suddenly snapped at Slamaganza. I hadn't made it to the building by then. I saw the highlights and it was a disgrace really what happened to Moonbird that day. And it's continued to be. But let's whack up the volume. Let's, let's, let's hear the noise from the Southwest crowd because here comes Moonbird. For someone else but not for me. Love was out to get me. All we gotta see is face. That's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. Then I saw her face. Oh, we're all believers now. And, believer. and his opponent weighed in at 2,862 daisies. Ailing from the Arrow Valley Park in Chorley. Representing the Children of the Moon, this is the connoisseur of good old combat, Moon Bear! I'm not even completely clear on what good old combat is, but I know one thing for sure. Moon Bear is all you get is in that ring when he gets going, and he, this when is a good match. Let's not forget, David Gunn deserves. Well, then I saw her face. Welcome back, Mikey. Oh. Um, I was saying earlier, I apologize. I apologize for having to get so animated and shout like I did earlier, but I just couldn't get any chance to speak. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jenny V in particular, she really laid into you, didn't she? Goodness me. Well, they've got the, the match and somebody will leave this business. The LWF's yeah. business anyway. Yeah, someone will leave town on the 25th of November. But this is a big, as I said, it's, the, it's an LWF grudge match. How many times has Nathan going to tap Moonbear now? Oh, it's ridiculous. Like I said, I had to suspend this guy and, uh, well, I've given Moonbear what he wants now. Nathan Gunn's behaviour has been abhorrent ever since Slamaganza and hopefully he gets what's coming to him tonight. But he starts strongly here with some forearms to Moonbear! Oh, my God! You notice what he brought to the ring with him, don't you, Steve? The steel chair, yes, we saw that in effect at Mutiny. That clothesline really shook Nate. Nathan Gunn, and look at this. Oh, big side slam. Moon oh. in from Moonbear with the hook. Nathan Gunn isn't going to give up that easily this early. Nathan Gunn trapped in that. Oh, corner. Big knees from Moonbear. We're seeing the more aggressive side of Moonbear here, Steve. Oh, a knee to the face. And Nathan Gunn bailing to the floor there. You can see that. Moonbear wants a piece of Nathan Gunn. Nathan Gunn just giving himself a timeout. Wow. 
We we'll want to see Moonbear trying to get that universal collapse, that boss man slam type move. Well, I'd love to see it. Nobody deserves it more than Nathan Gunn. I was saying, Mikey, just before you came back, I cannot understand. Oh, look at that. Nathan Gunn there, a cheap shot. Oh, well, what do you expect? I cannot understand why Nathan Gunn did what he did. He was on a roll. He, his performances were good. He was looking good. Each night he came out here and then he blotted his copybook something rotten. Well, remember our first Hesk of show, Steve, Nathan Gunn was in a triple threat match with um, Stephen Cross and Kai Aaron and he seriously injured his leg. He finally made it back the team with Moonbear and he felt that the fans were favoring Moonbear over him they didn't appreciate him anymore so now his goal is to take out Moonbear with a two-pronged plan first off it gives him a big win so that'll get him back into our contention and he can also stick it to all the fans who he felt he feels like betrayed them Moonbear is a, a stepping stone he's one hell of a big stepping stone isn't I mean, he I, to be honest I would not choose Moonbear to make an example of this man may be all smiles and, and, and joy but you don't want to anger him yeah, the children of the moon, they are all about. Oh, look at that. Well, I mean, there is, he's not for running anywhere at this moment. He has had some punishment. The children of the moon are very much about peace and love, but they know how to fight as well. What's Gunn going for here? Oh, an STO. Using that right leg to sweep. There's a lateral press. Two count. A version of the move called the Space Torna Tornado Ogawa. Easy for me to say. Mikey, you're doing a lot better than I am tonight. You're in fine voice. <laughs> My voice is broken a couple of times. See and I are walking wounded here. Oh! Look at that. Nathan Gunn went for that Big high punch. knee. And Moonbow with the jabs or stiff oh. left jabs. Southpaw there. Unorthodox, as they say. Oh, he's, he's ramming. Nathan Gunn, three. Uh, three times into that buckle oh, and a geez. clothesline for good measure. This is what I'm talking about about Moonbe. He is so aggressive, so vicious when he wants to be. Corner cuddles, it's anything but. Oh, oh the whole ring shook. <laughs> genuinely did. I know it's a cliche, but I felt I think the ring genuinely moved there. Oh, I'm there from. He only just about. I think those injuries are taking the toll from earlier. There's a cover two count only. Yeah, I don't think Moonbe really got all he wanted out of that. Well, we're going to see if, if Moonbear can hit that universal collapse, considering the punishment he's taken to his midsection. It was evident there. Nathan Gunn's looking to go for a ride here, is he? No. Going to the mid, Gunn to the midsection. Oh, Gunn straight jacket, DDT, got oh. it. Oh, that could be it, Steve. Gunn is so effective with those knees to the ribs, and that's what Gunn is giving the advantage. Is it going to give him the win? Mikey, that couldn't have been closer. No, Moonbear just managing to roll that shoulder. Get the kick out. Nathan Gunn has a lot to say, but he's got to back it up. Well, it's been a day of upsets today. Argentina defeating Wales in the rugby. Can we get another upset? Could Moonbear defeat Nathan Gunn, the man oh, who's been in title contention in the past here in the LWF, had matches with Anthony Getsky for the title? You can't fault Nathan Gunn's confidence. Oh, oh my, where did that come from? He shocks us every single time, Moonbear. He has something in his arsenal we never knew possible. Oh, corner cuddle, Steve. Look out, Steve oh, Grimshaw. No, no, referee got it. Oh, no. Oh, oh Stephen Grimshaw, our referee, just got splatted. Oh, no. we. Oh, no, and the referee's down, Steve. You know what that I'm means? I'm surprised. You oh. know what that means, though, Steve? Oh, these, the opportunist. Nathan Gunn. This is Nathan Gunn all over. He is going to once again clatter poor Moonbearer that steel chair. He didn't waste a second. Moonbearer's got this. Oh, Nathan oh Gunn. he went into his own face. It hit the ropes. It hit Gun in the face. Moonbearer. Going for the slot. Oh, yes! Oh. Oh. Is that going to be enough? The count. Two. He got it. Moonbearer defeats Nathan Gunn. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, Moonbear! We're all believers here in the LWF, what a huge victory for Moonbear. They can come flat back by it horribly. Another moment for Moonbear and October overload. Moonbear finally getting a measure of revenge on his... On his tormentor, Steve. 
And maybe now the children of the moon can look to the future instead of dwelling on the past. Nathan Gunn can find somebody else to make a stepping stone. 